Good day, welcome to Simple Maths TV. Today's video is especially made for all the teachers out there. We are going to explore the different features of the Powtoon web animation software. Powtoon can be a powerful tool that teachers can utilize to create excellent visual presentations which can provide effective, efficient, and meaningful learning experiences. I will also show you a trick on how to remove the Powtoon watermark for free using the Microsoft PowerPoint application. Let's take a look at this short video that I created using Powtoon. To access this powerful animation tool, just type in Powtoon in your search bar or simply type in the URL www.powtoon.com And just like that, we are now in the Powtoon interface. Powtoon is just like Google Slides with many amazing templates to choose from. We can choose a template for education, business and office, remote learning, you have digital management, engineering, knowledge sharing, and many others. In this video, we are going to choose education and we're going to look at the different templates presented in this section. What I like about Powtoon is that there is a preview option for each template wherein we will be able to visualize the output that we desire to create. Let's take a look at this template. The template has already its animation and background music. I will just click edit this template to customize this animation. Once you click it, another tab will be opened. In order to customize this template, we need to set Powtoon in Create Mode. On the right side of the screen, we can see the slides or the scenes that make up the animation. Just like Google Slides or PowerPoint presentation, we just have to click the slide or the scene that we want to edit. We can also turn on the grid view to ensure the alignment of all the elements in our animation. On the left hand side, we have the different options that allow us to customize the background, add text, add videos, audios, and even images or clip arts from our computer. To add an image or clip art from your device, just click the image icon and then click upload. Then select the file that you want to insert in the animation. For this time, I'm going to insert the Simple Maths logo. For the past few weeks, I have seen many advertisements from schools using Powtoon animation. What I love about Powtoon is that it allows us to upload customized images from our devices to personalize our animations. In editing the text, we also have the different options like changing the font color, the style, the font size, it can either be bold, italic, or underlined. You see, working on Powtoon is just like editing in PowerPoint or Google Slides. What I also love about Powtoon is that the color combination, the font style combination are already incorporated in the template. And all we need to do is to type in and customize the size of our text. Alright, I am done with the first slide. So what I'm going to do next is to copy the logo and paste it on the next slide. The shortcut keys we use in copying and pasting is also working in Powtoon.
then I am done with the second slide. I'm going to click preview to see what my animation looks like. I have observed that the transition of the first scene to the second scene is too quick so what I'm going to do is to add the time for the transition. And here's the trick to remove the Pauton watermark. First step is to add a blank slide. The portion of the screen that was covered by the Pauton watermark will be pasted on the blank slide. In this case, the portion of the screen that was covered by the Pauton watermark was the computer. I will copy the computer image and paste it on the blank slide. I am also going to copy the blue rectangle that was covered by the Pauton watermark and place it on the blank slide. After this, we'll do screen recording while Powtoon is on preview mode. Just in case you're not aware, Windows 10 has its built-in screen recording application. Just use the keyboard shortcut shown in the screen. Or you may use the Ice Cream screen recording app and you can download it using the link in the description below. After recording the preview mode of the Powtoon animation, I am going to open Microsoft PowerPoint. Then I'm going to insert the screen recorded video. Just click insert, then click video on my PC. I save it in my desktop, then I click OK. Next is to separate the video into two scenes by using the trim option. This step should be done because the portion of the screen that was covered by the Pauton watermark in the first scene is not the same with the portion that was covered in the second scene. On the first scene, a portion of the computer was covered, while on the second scene, a portion of the blue rectangle background was covered. This is the screenshot of the computer and the blue rectangle. What I'm going to do is to crop the portion that was covered by the Pautun watermark. I will place this cropped image in the first scene. I'll adjust the video a bit to maximize the screen and then I'll place the portion of the screen that was covered by the Pautun watermark. For the second part of the animation, I place a blue rectangle over the watermark. I have observed that there are some blank spaces, so what I'm going to do is to add some text and animations to maximize the blank space of the presentation. As you can see, the quality of the screen recorded video is good. Actually, it's of high resolution. So don't worry about the quality of the video when using the built-in screen recorder of your computer. Using Ice Cream screen recorder also yields to the same result. It is important to set our video to start automatically so to do that i'll go to playback and then click start and set automatically i will also add a transition to the slide and what i am going to do here is to put the fade transition for both slides 
and I think we are all set. So what I'm going to do right now is to have a preview of my animation. Thank you for watching Simple Maths. If you find this video helpful, you may give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the notification bell to be updated for the upcoming videos. I'll see you again next time.